I asked AI to build a PC for AI, and this is what it bought. So the challenge was simple. I gave ChatGPT a $1,200 budget, and I asked it to build me a PC to run Proxmox in various AIs. No human input, just AI making the decisions. All right, let's put this AI built PC together and see if ChatGPT knew what it was doing. First up, the case. ChatGPT picked the Lee and Lee Land Cool 216 for its good airflow and pre installed fans. A solid choice for cooling, especially for an AI workload. Powering everything is the Cosair RM750 XPSU. This gives us plenty of power for the graphics card and future GPU upgrades. Plus the gold rated efficiency means lower heat and energy costs. Not a bad pick. For the motherboard, GPT chose the Asus Tough Gaming B650+. It's got DDR5 support, PCI 4.0, and most importantly, it's fully compatible with our CPU. Honestly, I was expecting AI to mess this up, but so far so good. Now the processor. ChatGPT picked the AMD Ryzen 5 7600. Why? Because it offers great multi-core performance for virtual machines and AI workloads without blowing the budget. A smart choice. Next, RAM. Virtual machines need a lot of RAM. And ChatGPT went with 32 gigabit of DDR5, 6000 megahertz. It actually wanted more for running multiple VMs and AI models, which makes sense, but it had to stay in budget. Storage is crucial, especially for AI models that need fast read-write speeds. GPT picked a WD Black 1TB NVMe SSD, which is great for speed. Again, it suggested a larger SSD might be a good upgrade in the future. Now the heart of the system, the GPU. This is where things get interesting. ChatGPT chose the RTX 3060. And here's why. AI workloads, especially machine learning, need VRAM, and this card delivers. With 12 gigabit of VRAM, this is the best AI card we could fit in the budget. Now let's get everything wired up, make it look clean, and see if this AI built PC actually boots. Nope. 